Dan Fitzpatrick here at StockMarketMentor.com. I want to look at Peloton um, today. Now, uh, this was a classic uh, pullback buy opportunity. However, I think you'd have had to be, I wouldn't have done it, but you'd have had to be real aggressive to buy this yesterday just because the stock was still trickling lower. Um, a series of lower lows, lower highs as well, uh, irrespective of this thing uh, on Monday where the stock closed higher than the open. It was the first time it done that in a while, but we were still seeing there's a high and then every single day here, um, the highs were lower, meaning even as the price declined, there were more sellers, you know, today than there were yesterday. Uh, there just wasn't enough buying to push this stock um, higher than the prior day. And you can also see the same thing on the downside. Each intraday low was lower than the prior day. So sellers were still more aggressive than buyers. Now, um, you could say, well, yeah, but what about it was very close to the 50-day moving average? All right, fine. Well, you know, shoot, stock closed here. Um, it's almost 7% above the 50-day moving average. I ain't going to do that. I would rather see whether the stock pulled back one more day because, you know, it's been doing it for how many days in a row do I have the ability to prognosticate? I am not Dennis Gartman. I can't do that. Um, so I have to wait for an appropriate action. What would have been nice is if we got some kind of some kind of pattern like this um even even this but if we had some kind of move here um where the stock you know traded lower but then had a stronger close had a higher close maybe on heavier volume that type thing that would have been uh, a good a kind of a low risk higher probability entry but we didn't get that. And so then, boom, along comes the news this morning that uh, Peloton's going to start selling uh, some of its crap on, uh, on Amazon. And that's always a big deal. So what's the stock do? It was up, I think it was 8% um, pre-market, uh, something like that. It was kind of 8, 8.5%. And the stock did trade a little bit lower slightly, but then it just started running up. And uh, I took this for a trade. I know some of our members did too. I held it for, um, you know, for, for less than half an hour. Uh, I was, even though the stock kept, uh, kept moving higher, I had stuff to do and I didn't want to watch it. Um, so I made a little bit of money, uh, sold, I think a little below 1325 or so. Again, um, there was more money to be made, but I just didn't see uh, the upside in it uh, versus closing it down, saying, thank you very much, sir, may I have another, and then moving on with my day. But this is the thing that I wanted to mention. This idea where this is trailing down like this, and then you've got like this cap at 14 bucks. I don't really think this applies too much right now. Not on this because the news has changed. Um, also, this right now is trading very, it's like everybody who bought down here and was still holding, they're winners. They're winners. So there are only very few people like, let's say I'm trying to draw the top here uh, between here and here. So... The most that anybody's down are the top tickers uh, at 635. Uh, and they're now a heck of a lot better off than they were just yesterday. So what I'm pointing out is there really isn't much resistance. I'm, I'm looking at this only like as a technical area where people might want to sell because it's an even number as opposed to a psychological um, level where this is where everybody bought and everybody's upside down. They're puking and they just want to get out of their stock. I don't really see that happening. So I would actually look for more upside side here. Um, I would look for this as kind of the line line in the sand. Uh, you know, I'll say 14 bucks. If this stock rallies above 14 bucks, uh, you're probably going to see 
uh, a really nice uh, really nice continuation move I'm not even looking at um, fundamentals I'm sure they suck uh, all of that stuff I'm just looking at the price chart so uh, if you bought this stock today for anything other than a day trade which was my deal then I think you still hold this stock I think the stock's working out well. Anyway, um, that's all I got for you. Members, our, you know, we put a couple more stocks on our active trade list. Uh, the worst performing one is down 3%. The others that aren't at profits yet are less than 1%. I think they average about down uh, 0.4%. Uh, the upside ones, which is most of them, are doing really well. So we're just going to stick with those. You can check that out in the um, in this strategy session that I just got out. So, And if you're not a member, check it out. Uh, free 30-day trial. Um, it ain't going to cost you any money if you don't like it. It'll just cost you time. And you never know. You might like it.